Hello everybody welcome back to SB Handmaids and this is Shubha here so if you are new here make sure you subscribe to my channel and um, follow my channel for more crafty videos so in my last video i had done unboxing for panda haul and we got these uh, memory wire from them so in today's video we will see how to make uh, memory wire boho style uh, bracelet which almost resemble a bangle so before we start our uh, bracelet we will first make sure there is no tangle in the memory wire remove everything and then I am also going to use these um, flower space uh, flower spacers and the main uh, bead is going to be the coral so this is the bamboo coral beads and these are 4 mm and then i have these uh, wheel shaped uh, spacers so these are all uh, good quality ones they are oxidized metal and some small tiny gold beads and this is a heart shaped bead and then i also um i'm going to use these three hole uh, separators because um, my bracelet today is going to be a three strand one so i'm using these separators and uh, these oxidized beads here And then of course we need this memory wire cutter which we got from Panda Hall. So let's put these packaging away and keep our cutter ready. So for our bracelet design today, uh, we need to cut out these uh, memory wire spring. We don't want it as a spring, but we want it as separate uh, rings to make our three layer bracelets. So I'm just going to leave a little tail that is overlapping on the ring and then cut it out. The cutter is very good it cuts very easily and there is a small overlap for us to make a, a ring at the end so this like this you have to separate and we are going to make a three layer bracelet so i need three rings from that whole lot That's it. We just need three of them to make this beautiful bracelets. So let's start with the first layer. So we'll take one ring at the end of the ring that we cut we are going to make a small loop so this will hold the beads from falling off also we can attach some uh, dangles to this ring later so hold at the edge of um, the memory wire and give a turn and then you can turn the direction of your hand to pull it further in because memory wire is a little stronger it's not like a regular uh, metal wire you need little extra pressure to um, turn it and make it into a nice loop we don't want any gaps it has to be a closed ring so once the loop is um, nice and flush with the wire we can start putting in our beads so 
so you can um, make a design on the board or something and then you can start your work but i'm going to just bead in directly i have a rough idea in my mind so i am going to um, bead directly on the memory wire if it's a single strand then we need not uh, make any pattern we can just directly start doing in a random fashion but mine is going to be a three layer one so we have to match all the three uh, layers so make a rough sketch and then you can start working so after putting in my edge beads i'm going to use a spacer here the three hole spacer So as you start putting in your beads, follow some uh, symmetrical pattern so that uh, you don't end up um, looking very awkward. So we want it in a particular um, order. So we have um, almost reached the end, but I see there is a um, tiny bit of uh, space less. So I'm going to remove one bead from the end. So I already put two big spacers as the end bead, but I'm going to remove one and uh, leave it with one spacer. So we are done with the uh, first layer. So three hole spacers, I have used four of them so that the bracelet has enough space between the beads. Now the same way you have to make a loop for your second layer also. And then start adding the beads in the same order as your first ring. So once you are done with the beginning bead, you are going to insert it into the uh, three hole spacer that we added. So actually uh, we are doing the third row now. So the middle one we will be doing last. So when you put the ring, you have to put it in the third hole, not the second one. So the middle hole will stay empty. And then we will continue the beads in the same pattern as the first one. So you can keep it beside each other and check if you are going the right way. It's always advisable to check now and then if you are not doing something wrong. So if you go all the way to the end and you find the pattern is wrong, then you have to remove everything. So after every four to five beads, do check and confirm whether you are doing it right. So let me quickly put in the beads according to our already done pattern. So now we have to insert this memory wire into the three hole spacers that we have already added in the previous ring. So you cannot bend the memory wire in any other direction. So what you have to do, you have to slide the wire back up and then insert it into the third hole of the spacer. So just push the wire back up and then you insert it. Be careful not to drop the beads down. 
and then you can pull it back. So I am using a three hole spacer here. If you want a nice wider bangle, so you may also use four or five holes. Uh, there are different varieties in the market. So according to how you want the look of your bangle, you can uh, increase the number of holes in the spacer. So I'm just making sure the flower will fit in there. So according to your bead size, you may have to adjust the spacer size. So when you have to insert the memory wire into the spacer, just push back the wire and then insert it into the spacer. So we are almost done with the two layers. So cut off the extras and then make the loop to end the layer. So now we'll add our third final layer in the middle. So this is going to be a little tricky because we are not going to bring it all the way to the end, but it will stop right at the first uh, three hole spacer. So once you put in all the beads, the wire you have to make the loop at that first spacer so hope you can see the wire there in the middle so do not bring all the way to the end but uh, you can trim off the remaining there the excess wire you can just trim it off So make sure you uh, make a good loop flush with the spacer so that it doesn't catch up with the uh, dresses. So once you are done with all the three layers, you can add a jump ring and a clasp and then you can attach your dangle also to the um, jump ring at the end. So I made a small dangle with a red bead.
so hope you like my bracelet so if you like my tutorial do like my video and don't forget to subscribe stay tuned thank you so much for watching